Scotty. I think maybe it would be better for Laura if you'd go home now. Yeah. I will try to talk to her and uh, calm her down. Oh, I hope that's Rick. Hello? Uh, Leslie, it's Lee. Yes, hi, Lee. Is Scotty still there? Yes, he is. Uh, has he told you what happened about Bobby, I mean? Yes, he told us the whole story. Look, I know Scotty blames himself for everything, but if you and Rick would like to sit down with me sometime, perhaps I could give you more of a, a clear picture of what's going on here. Thank you. Uh, yes, Lee, I don't, not now. I don't mean to sound rude, but uh, Laura just came in and she's terribly upset and as sorry as I feel for Scotty, what I have to be concerned with right now is Laura. Well, I understand that, but there's one thing I want you to keep in mind, Leslie. What is that? Scotty loves Laura with all his heart, and he would give anything if he hadn't hurt her like this. I know that. Unfortunately, I'm afraid that doesn't change anything for Laura. <clears throat> May I speak with Scotty, please? Of course, and I, I will talk to you soon. Uh, leave, Scotty. Oh. I'm going to go up to Laura now. Okay, I'll let myself out. Okay. Uh, uh, Dr. Webber? Yeah. Lee, just a second. Would you tell Laura something that, that she wouldn't let me tell her? What is it? Would you tell her that I love her more than ever? And that the last thing I ever wanted to do was to hurt her? I will. Because I believe it. It tastes good? Yes, thanks. I'm so glad you came back downstairs. Oh, I just couldn't face Scotty. Got to be, Rick. Hello? Yes, Rick. Yes, she's here. <laughs> Just a few minutes after you left. No, no, Mr. Higgins is going to forget the whole thing. Where are you? Ah. Yes, I will tell her that. Um, I guess they're in the book room where she left them. Laura, what? Uh, that he is just so happy that you're home and safe. Do you know he drove all over town earlier tonight looking for you, and then he went out again just before you got back? I'm sorry. No, not to be sorry. What's important is that you're here. Was he at the hospital? Yeah, he had gone back there on the chance that you might go back. So he's going to stop and see a patient in IC, and then he's going to get your purse and coat and come straight home. And that's the part I dread most. Why? Oh, because he's going to be so angry with me. He wasn't angry that, that you disappeared. He was just worried terribly, that's all. No, no. Not about that. About my getting so serious with Scotty, he kept telling the both of us not to let our feelings get out of control over and over again. Laura, I think he's going to be a lot more understanding than you think he is. He's been as concerned as I have about seeing you so terribly unhappy lately. He only wants to help. Nobody can help me. Turn around a minute. This is good that, that we're having this chance to talk. Do you know what the worst thing is that can happen between two people who really care about each other? What? When the lines of communication between them break down, that's when all the terrible misunderstandings start. You mean like this morning? I'm sorry that I said all those things to you about Monica. Oh, we don't even have to talk about that now. I know that you were hurt and confused and you needed to lash out at someone and I just happened to be there. I know that you and Rick are having problems these days. I'd rather talk about your problems right now. That sounds like the beginning of a lecture. You're going to tell me that I'm too young to be engaged and that it shouldn't be this serious about anybody, especially so soon after David. I admit, um, it's very hard for me to accept the fact that you are old enough to care enough about someone to want to marry them. But I also know that you are a person of very deep 
and strong feelings. So I do understand, in a way, how it could happen. I think, though, that you are wrong to blame Scotty for betraying you. He's in a terrible position right now. I feel so sorry for him. I don't. He slept with Bobby right after he told her that he was in love with me. Now, how could he do that if he really loved me? I asked him exactly the same question when he told us the story tonight. But when he explained how she had pleaded with him to let her stay just one last time, honey, these things happen. Physical drives that have absolutely nothing to do with love, just with being close to someone. No, I can't accept that. I, I never would have done that to him. Come here and sit down for a minute. I do understand how you're feeling right now. I was your age when I became pregnant. And I was terribly in love. And I know all those feelings of inner turmoil and confusion that you're going through. But I want you to answer one question for me, very honestly, if you will. What's that? Can you honestly say, even with everything that's happened, that you don't love Scotty anymore? Mother, I, I'm trying so hard to tell myself that I don't, but I, I do. That's what hurts me so much. I love him more than ever, and... Marrying Scotty and spending the rest of my life with him has been the most beautiful dream I've ever had. Baby, baby. And now I have to stand by and watch him get married to Bobby Spencer, who did all of this just to hurt me. Mother, I can't. I just can't. I, I love him and I can't stop. No matter how hard I try. Then that's your answer. How can it be? It's, it's hopeless. It's never hopeless if you really love someone. But Bobby's one. Maybe not if you fight back. How? I don't know yet. But I do know that if a relationship is important to you, it's worth fighting for. That's what I'm doing right now with my marriage. This is the first time I, I've ever felt so close to you. You're like my friend. That's nice. I mean... You're here for me. You're not saying I told you so, or you're not calling me a silly, over-emotional child. You're not a child anymore. And I promise you, I will help you fight for what you want. We'll find a way to get you and Scotty through this. Somehow. You mustn't give up hope. That's what Scotty keeps telling me. But how can I help it? Scotty is going to marry Bobby, and that's going to be the end of everything I've ever dreamed of. No, you can't just give up. Now, I'm going to talk to Scotty, but, and I'll, I'll get more details. You've got to help me. Well, what can I do? Don't, don't keep on feeling that it's hopeless. You've, you've got to try to believe that your dreams might just come true after all. Bobby, I know that... Uh, Scotty, it's Leslie Weber. 
Oh, hello, Dr. Weber. Um, is Laura all right? Uh, I, I don't... I haven't uh, talked to her uh, yet. Uh, this morning we were up so late last night talking. She's still asleep. Dr. Weber, I hope I didn't cause any problems between you and Rick when I told you that whole story. I could tell that he was pretty upset when he heard about our engagement plans. Oh, Scotty, I can't even begin to think about any of that right now. I'm worried about the effect this is having on Laura. I'm afraid she isn't going to be able to cope with another disillusionment so soon after David. I, I don't know what to do anymore. I've tried talking to Laura so many times and she just won't listen to me. Scotty, now that I know the full story, I've got an idea I'd like to discuss with you. Sure, sure. I'll be at the hospital right after uh, I finish my classes. Fine. I have a few other things to do first, but I'll get in touch with you in Gail's office as soon as I'm free. Yeah, I hope so, too. I'll see you later. Laura! Yes, Dad. Here I am. You very seldom get dressed for school before you have breakfast. How long have you been up? A, a while. I thought I heard you and Mother leave for the hospital just now. No, she went on ahead. You been trying to avoid us? Not really. I just didn't want to talk about my problems with Scotty, and I knew if I came down earlier, you'd want to. There's only one part of your problems I want to talk about right now, and I want to do it. Now. What? Your relationship with Scotty and just exactly how far it's gone. It hasn't gone anywhere. Scotty and I don't even have a relationship now that he's going to marry Bobby Spencer. All right, let's say that uh, Scotty didn't feel that he had to marry Bobby. Now, does that mean the two of you would want to go ahead with your plans, get engaged, and get married when Scotty gets out of law school? Yes. But those plans can't work out now. Hold on. Why don't you sit down? Just suppose that Scotty wasn't in the situation, all right? Now, does that mean that you feel ready to be able to take on all of the responsibilities and the commitment of marriage? Yes, I was. Until all of my dreams blew up in my face. Laura, marriage is not a cure-all for all individual and personal problems. It's just the opposite of that. Once two people commit to each other, the most and one of the most important parts is that they can totally give support to the other partner. How can I support Scotty when his only solution to all of this is to get married to somebody else when he doesn't even love her? Do you love him? Of course I do. He's the kindest most wonderful person I've ever known in my life. And because he's a very principled young man, he feels the best thing to do is to marry Bobby, right? And where does that leave me? Nowhere. Laura, I wish you could listen to yourself. One minute you say you're totally ready for marriage, and the next you sound like a selfish little girl. What you're trying to say is that you don't approve of my relationship with Scotty, right? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that I don't think it's right for you to be that serious right now. Well, you don't have to worry about that anymore. It's over. I have to get my books. Laura? Your mother tells me that you're aware of certain problems that she and I are having. Yes. Just what exactly do you think those problems are? I don't know, Dad. But uh, ever since Mother told all those lies to protect me, things haven't been right between you two. I hear you arguing a lot when I'm up in my room. Honey, does that um, threaten your security here at the house? It did. Till Scotty came back into my life, but now... I don't know. Laura, look, your mom and I love you very, very much. And whatever the problems, and there are some, we will work them out, and we'll work them out together. It must be nice to be that sure of things. I can be that sure because our love for each other hasn't changed. I'm glad. Look, I know how unhappy you must be because of what's happened with Scotty. I understand that, but I... I want you to know that had the two of you come to me and ask for permission, 
I would never have given it now. Not at this time in your life. If you're finished now, uh, I better be going. I don't want to be late for school. 